Let's talk about merino and why it is a wonder fibre and why we love it and how we came to be having merino at the sleep store. So first let's just talk about why it's so good. We've sold merino products at the sleep store for pretty much right going this coming up for 14 years of the sleep store and I think we probably started stocking merino at least 12 years ago. I think Mokapuna was our first brand and we still was, um, love that brand and we've just had our new Mokapuna come in recently. Um, and we started selling Merino because we I sorted out for my own kids. I sorted out uh, for sleep time, for during the day, for outside, for, you know, just I just love it for using with kids. And it's really the peace of mind that you get from using Merino with kids. Um, that is why we have such a strong focus on merino at the sleep store. So the things you get from it, number one, it's fire resistant. Now you might not, that might not be kind of the first thing you think of with merino, but it is naturally fire retardant. And up until when um, the labeling requirements for sleepwear changed um, about three years ago, merino was one of the only products that without fail qualified for the low fire danger label. That doesn't exist anymore, but it always used to have that. So, you know, it's it's almost impossible for, um, you know, you can't actually make this catch fire. So if your kids get sparks on them by the fire wearing merino pajamas, it'll just make a little hole and that's it. Not like polyester, not like cotton. So fire retardant um, gives you peace of mind. Um, and that's why I love it for outdoors as well, for when you're camping and you're around the campfire or you're using a gas cooker or something, <laughs> but that's as an aside. Um, the next thing you get from Merino, and one of the reasons it's so good to use with newborns, is that it is temperature regulating. So, like I wear Merino singlets all year round for bed, I just love the icebreaker tank tops. Um, so in the summer, you know, that's perfectly good with just some undies or shorty jammy pants. And then in the winter, it's still just fine. I might pull the duvet up a little bit more. But the, having the merino against your skin, it really helps you to be just the right temperature. And so when we get into looking at merino for newborns, newborns and right through up till, you know, kids are almost a year old, they really have little ability to regulate their temperature. So everything you can do um, in terms of what you dress them in and what bedding you use, choosing merino will make that easier for you. It's also, um, merino is really light and really soft. And so for the equivalent amount of warmth out of cotton, um, you'd, you'd need a lot more of it. So it's, it's really soft and stretchy. And for even quite a thin garment, it's going to be really nice and snugly. It's also very, very breathable. So that's partly why it's good when it's, you know, to use in warmer weather and it's great for, um, you know, I do a lot of tramping and I always use merino for my tramping because it, you know, it's breathable and light and comfy to wear. But then also, if you're thinking at this time of the year, you might be thinking, oh, it's still quite warm, my kids will get too hot. But if they're in merino and they get sweaty, merino can absorb up to a third of its weight in moisture. So any sweat just gets whipped away from your skin and absorbed by the moisture, assuming you're not like sweating buckets and buckets in which case you would be dripping but um, for kids who just might be a little bit clammy or if you get a bit of a you know overflow of the nappy and it's kind of a bit damp merino is the best thing to have against the skin so i think is that all of the benefits we were going to cover amelia and james yes we do have a question about um what are the benefits of merino versus merino in a cotton blend apart from okay. price but yeah, they're not always, you know, merino, our merino is pretty reasonable price for how good the quality is. But the kind of main benefits of like the wool cotton blend that we have with our merino, with our wool babe label versus the 100% cotton we use for the sleep store. The wool cotton blend is more durable because you have uh, like the wool babe fabric is 70% organic cotton and 30% merino. So you get quite a bit of the temperature regulating properties, uh, but you don't get the, the real light, the extra light um, kind of feeling of the merino. It's, it's looser woven, so that's kind of why the air goes through it a bit more. 
so the cotton blend gives you more durability. I think the merino gives you a lighter, more breathable, um, more temperature regulating fabric. And so you kind of, merino, you have to care for it well. You have to really follow the washing instructions. The wool babe fabric, if you occasionally wash it in normal fabric, um, normal liquid, it's not going to disintegrate, but if you do that repeatedly with merino, you will get holes in it really quickly and it will be ruined. So you've got to weigh up the easy care um, and the more cotton feel versus the 100% merino. Our merino is um, incredibly soft and smooth. It's rated as extra fine merino, which means it's um, 18.5 microns, which means it's just a really silky smooth soft merino fiber there's scale there's ratings of merino the only thing that's you know a better quality than that is anything which is rated super fine um, and a super fine merino is 17.5 microns so it's only a tiny difference but the difference in price is not worth it in terms of um, you know the benefits you as users would get and unfortunately the price of merino last year went up for us by 30 percent so um, yeah, we've tried to keep our prices pretty similar to last year. There's been a few small increases. Another question just on that sort of thing while we love it. Um, is there a maximum temperature for merino? Um, hot temps, would you opt for cotton over merino, for example? I wouldn't, personally. I mean, like in the weekend we were out tramping out at Riverhead Forest and it was blisteringly hot. It was, I think, 27 degrees. Most of my kids were still wearing merino t-shirts. I was still wearing merino t-shirt. I would never use a cotton t-shirt in that scenario of tramping in the summer because it would just get sweaty and gross and it's not actually any cooler to walk in. Um, and the same at night, if you're using um, merino and it's hot, like, you know, it's still quite warm now, you could use a little singlet suit or something that's short-sleeved with merino and then you just, it deals with that um, difference of hot and cold really well because it, it deals with the sweat and it deals with the temperature changes really well. So for me, even, you know, for kids, I think you using merino year round is fine and there's not really, until you get to the point where your, your kids are going to be just in a nappy, using a merino singlet is perfect right up until that like naked point. Great.